Long before Western cowboys drove their herds over the Chisel for the good night, Florida cattlemen were trailing their cattle across the Okeechobee, the Apalachicola, and the Kissimmee. People known as crackers by the sound of their whips settled a range alongside the Seminole Indians for the lineage of the great chief cowkeeper. This is the country where you will find the characters of Dry Creek, America's first frontier. Fix the women. I need that gear, boss. Oh, uh, no excuses. Guess what? The gear is going to be in today. I'm going to pick it up from Benjamin, and yes. I will be back at three o'clock this afternoon. Three o'clock. Three, three o'clock. Three o'clock. You, you know what we're going to do on it? What's that? We're going to shake hands on it that you will have it ready by three o'clock. Three o'clock. Dad always said that when two folks shook hands, what they were and who they were came together in that very moment. He said that a handshake and your word meant more than anything that could be written on a piece of paper. And for those that didn't keep it, would live with it for the rest of their lives. with Dry Creek that I want to show is that Florida has a very strong Western history. Uh, and it's not just the, out, the Old West, you know. Hey, I don't think, what's going on around here? With the help of hundreds of volunteers that have shared my vision at Dry Creek, I hope to tell the stories and show the lives of early Florida history, the cowmen, the Seminoles, our rich agricultural history, the first horses and cattle and citrus came to Florida before anywhere else in the states and to bring to television programming that will entertain and inspire. Today's fast-paced world, Dry Creek brings that out in all of us, what's really important, where we came from, what we're made of, and who we are on the inside. Right, here's what I it's almost you know, like they build it and they will come. and. I started doing a Western set just thinking I was going to do my cowboy poetry uh, with, at the Western set. And then all of a sudden I says, why not shoot a little longer thing, a little longer thing? And then I found people that wanted to do costuming. And it, it came out of Facebook, over uh, 3,500 friends that supported me and said, that show them what I was building. And it just came from the grassroots. Why film a Western in Florida? The West didn't just happen out West. You know, our Florida cowmen and stuff uh, go way back in history. Boy's dad used to work cattle in these same woods. He used to tell of a legend or a story of a, an animal, or whatever it was, that was half skunk and half man. Power four mountains. Now you've seen about every track there is. What do you think them cowboys seen the other day on the trail? I know it's a wizard. I told you, I told you. He's gonna hear you. Do you really think he's a wizard? Florida to the world and the rest of the country is known for Disney World and Sea World. How ironic that astronauts can look down from their cockpit window and see where the first frontier began. And now through Dry Creek and its characters, Florida's true story can finally be told. Dry Creek, America's first frontier. Everybody knows where Dry Creek is because it's inside each and every one of us. Really cool place out there, and it's way off the beaten path. You'd hardly know it's back there. You have to travel down a couple of roads, take a turn here and there, and then all of a sudden it opens up, and it's like this old west town. 
Really cool, though, and they're doing some neat stories, and it may actually just grow into something huge. Yeah. Western's Good. back on the map again. The set's so elaborate, too. It looked like a neat place to visit. Very authentic, and Les tells me he basically built it board by board by hand. Really neat. Really cool. He's a great passion.